This is a very soggy HMCS St. John's, but the water you're seeing is not some kind of rogue wave. It's a buildup of humidity and condensation in the ventilation system, which has led to this. Mold. Mold which has found its way into different parts of the ship, including food storage hampers for the galley. There is no filters in there. The ship Pat McLaughlin there. served 30 years in the Navy and then another six as a civilian at National Defense Headquarters where he was a specialist in marine ventilation, ventilation systems. It was his team that uncovered the design door. flaw and the mold problem aboard the St. John's in 2011. The Navy did follow-up engineering studies on at least four frigates, and those reports were obtained as part of a CBC News investigation. The analysis on the St. John's read, a humidity and mold issue throughout the ship leading to a health risk for the crew. And a year later, more warnings about HMCS Toronto, a significant health risk to ship's crew. McLaughlin became a man on a mission, get the problem fixed. The perfect time, or so he thought, was to do it when the fleet underwent a multi-billion dollar refit starting in 2011. They just didn't have the money to do that. Ten of the frigates have undergone upgrades on the ventilation system outside of the refit, but the Navy needs more time to determine if it will actually reduce mold. When we find out about it, we take care of it, we monitor the health of our people. The Navy says it has no reports of illness related to mold, McLaughlin claims it's common knowledge. The ship's crew calls it the AC flu or the CPF hack. Now, if the entire Navy has a nickname for a sickness on board their ship, then obviously you have an issue. CBC News has spoken to a dozen still serving members of the military who say they've been sick on deployment. While none of the conditions was debilitating, the sailors say they want the mold gone. Murray Brewster, CBC News. Ottawa.